Hi, this is Deborah Atkinson, founder of The Voice for Fitness, and I'm back with troubled spots below the belt. And we're going to focus on how can you get the tone back in your backside, get rid of what some of my friends would call mom butt, and bring back anti-gravity. So we're going to target some of those troubled areas, but not just for looks alone. So some of these muscles are really responsible for helping you stay balanced, keeping your hips in alignment so that you don't get an injury. And you'll know it as we do one side and then the other. It'll become really obvious to you if you do have a, an impending weakness that you need to focus on. It's great to catch it now while you're doing the exercise instead of on the ice or when you're skiing or skating or running and you don't get caught. So here we go. Find some weights that are comfortable for you. You're gonna probably want three pounds, five pounds, maybe eight pounds to be really comfortable with this for lower body. So you wanna find a soft place to rest your elbows, your forearms. Now you could be up on all fours on your hands, but what happens to the lower back is you tend to cave a little bit more. So forearms is a little more safe. Go that route. And then the movement all happens from the hip. So this is first set of a straight leg lift. And I work on eight, 12 or 16, because I use music to keep me honest and in a pattern. So here I've done 12 repetitions with a straight leg. Now I add a weight and I'm holding on to it. So you can see safety is important here. You wanna make sure you can actually get a grip on that weight. A five pound or an eight pound is probably as high as you want to go. I happen to have a 10 pound here. It's a little more than I want, but it's all that I had handy. So again, watch my lower back. Not a lot of movement, but I'm just coming down and up, full range of motion for 12 repetitions. So here I pulse at the top, just a small motion, very stabilization oriented. My back stays still. I'm isolating that muscle. And then I come down and out and finish on this side with a combination, the straight leg, flex, and extend, and all in and out, we go right here. So I'm asking a couple of things of my body. Stabilize the lifted leg and the thigh, and flex and extend at the knee. So in this case, I'm working my hamstrings across my lower back and butt to do multitasking which is really in life what we ask it to do most often. So very effective way to work it. Now, lastly, the ultimate straight leg, bend and extend and down. Lift, flex, extend and lower. Lift, flex, extend and lower. And you continue and watch that straight line between my shoulder and the leg. And as I flex, I only flex at the knee and bring it back out. So it's really important that you maintain stability where you want it and that you move only where you want it. You'll find that this one gets a little tough at those last couple of repetitions. If it does, you know you need it and that it's working. So also be sure to sit back and enjoy a good stretch on that side. You can even shift your hips to the side. So now on the other side, we start again very similarly. So here's an example. I start up on all fours and it's much more difficult for me to maintain my lower back, which can be a good challenge for your core. But if you have any trouble or you feel strain and it happens at your lower back or in other words, in reverse of your waistline, or your belly button, instead of at your glutes where you want the work to happen, Make sure that you come down and protect your lower back. Much more important that you do it well with good form than that you do it high. But I want you to see both versions. So here we are with the full range of motion, the weight in the knee, but yet very still through my lower back. So I'm doing well. My head could come down just a little bit, so be aware Unless I had a mirror, it's hard to tell. So if you don't, err on the conservative side, put your head down further probably than you think you need to in order not to strain your neck. So I remove the weight carefully and then come back to the kick out. 
and here you can see my memory escapes me. So I didn't do that set of only flexion in and out on this side. And there's no right or wrong about how you do this set, but the combination is what's important to you. You wanna go straight leg and get that flexion in there with the stabilization at that leg because your hamstrings, which is what you're working, crosses your hip and crosses your knee. So working both will give you the best combination of tone and of strength of that muscle group. So on this side, I'm able to, you can see my right arm is still down on my forearm. My left arm is up straight. I could also drop down to forearms on both sides and still be okay. Stretch when you're done. So there you have it. It's a full set and we do right then left side, but while we're doing it, stabilizing with our upper body, we're working our core too. So there's your multitasking exercise for today. Subscribe right here. Give me a comment down below once you've done this workout and let me know how it went for you. If you feel a little tight, a little sore tomorrow, don't call me at home.